Hi friends, this is for all you Watson fans out there, because today I thought it would be good to do a video on the kindest, nicest legend in the entire game, Watson. Well, at least she used to be the nicest, but since the events of the Broken Ghost story, she definitely seems to have changed in Apex Legends Season 6. I'm going to share a bunch of new Season 6 Watson lore voice lines, and talk about what they mean in the lore of Season 6 and beyond. Most of these are Watson's interactions with Crypto and Caustic, because these are where their unique voice lines, and this is where we can see a change in her personality in Apex Legends Season 6. I've got some Watson gameplay in the background as I play these voice lines for you, and then we'll just have a chat about what these tell us about Watson changing as a person. Let's start by listening to a few of Watson's interactions with Crypto. You're not done yet. We need you. You saved me. Doesn't change what you did. You're not done yet. We need you. You saved me. Doesn't change what you did. Umjigijima, I've got you. Thank you. But the slate is not wiped clean. Umjigijima, I've got you. Thank you. But the slate is not wiped clean. Even traitors don't deserve to die. You would know the truth if you listened. Even traitors don't deserve to die. <sighs> you would know the truth if you listened. Just because I saved your life doesn't mean I forgive you. <clears throat> right. Just because I saved your life doesn't mean I forgive you. <clears throat> Right. Thank you, Crypto. But this doesn't change anything. Right. Thank you, Crypto. But this doesn't change anything. Right. Merci, Crypto. But we are not friends. Kre, algo isa. Merci, Crypto. But we are not friends. Kre, algo isa. Crypto, Crypto. Mm -hmm. So, a few things are clear here. Firstly, it seems they don't know yet that Crypto isn't actually the mole. That's apparent because we still hear Watson calling Crypto a traitor. Secondly, and perhaps more importantly, we see Watson give some quick, blunt responses to Crypto. It's clear she hasn't actually forgiven him for being the so-called Mole. We know previously to these Broken Ghost events that Crypto and Watson were actually forming quite a nice bond, and there was definitely something there that we could really enjoy and get behind. And it's kind of a shame to see that kind of disappear, but I'm sure we'll get to see more of that and perhaps they'll come back together when she starts to learn more about what's actually happened to Crypto, and that Crypto's actually a victim in this story. We do see Watson here kind of stand up for herself though, and these are some positives we can take from it. She's getting a bit more of a personality that makes her stronger and maybe less vulnerable, but at the same time, she still maintains that nice caring side to her, particularly when she says her voice line of, even traitors don't deserve to die we still feel Watson as that nice, friendly legend that we all love. So that's Watson and Crypto. Next, let's listen to Watson and Caustic. Hold still. I know this doesn't change anything. <sighs> I realize you could have made a different choice. Thank you. Hold still. I know this doesn't change anything. <sighs> I realize you could have made a different choice. Thank you. Do not make me regret this. <sighs> you didn't have to do that. Your grace is incalculable. Do not make me regret this. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Your grace is incalculable. Hate me all you want. The world still needs you. Thank you, Doctor. But I can take care of myself. Hate me all you want. The world still needs you. Thank you, Doctor. But I can take care of myself. Your mind must prevail. No matter what you think of me. I appreciate the assist, Doctor. I can take it from here. Your mind must prevail, no matter what you think of me. I appreciate the assist, Doctor. I can take it from here. Thank you. Doctor. Thank you. Doctor. I humbly thank you. <laughs> I humbly thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good day, Doctor. I'll take what you left behind, Doctor. It's only us now. Do not make this more unpleasant than it has to be. It's only us now. Do not make this more unpleasant than it has to be. Done to us too? My discomfort is only surpassed by my displeasure. Look, Dr. Caustic, it's one of your gas traps. I spot one of your previous fences, Miss Paquette. Miss Paquette, your fence is out there. Your interceptor is here, Miss Paquette. Even I have to admire its ingenuity. Next ring is distant. You created this thing, Miss Paquette. You couldn't create a back door to work around it. Next ring is far. You'd think you would give us an advantage, Miss Paquette. But you still believe in rule. Okay. So we know Caustic is like a father figure to Watson, as her real father passed away. But after the events of the Broken Ghost, she's definitely trying to be more independent. 
she doesn't want Caustic getting involved in her business. Again, this shows a tougher side to Watson, a more blunt side that we haven't really seen so far, or at least before Season 5. However, through Season 5 and now into Season 6, we really see Watson becoming perhaps a bit more of a tougher character, with a bit more sass and a bit more attitude to some of her voice lines. It's clear she's still angry at Caustic and Crypto, and you can definitely hear this in the voice lines. But at the same time, we still feel that she is a nice legend, she hasn't lost that nice, friendly, cute side to her. Which is probably a good thing, because that's kind of what we like about Watson, right? It's also worth noting that Watson is still really good friends with Wraith. Those kind of friendly voice lines from Season 5 have carried over into Season 6. So at least Watson has friends and she's got company, even though she's a bit angry at Crypto and Caustic at the moment. And you can go check out the lore video I did back in Season 5, I'll put a link in the description below for you, to hear some of those really cool voice lines that are very special between Watson and Wraith. Overall, I kind of like that Watson's become a bit more sassy, she's got a bit more attitude to her, and she's kind of not a pushover anymore, she's standing up for herself, and she's making that clear to Crypto and Caustic. But at the same time, you know, she's still got that really nice friendly side to her, which is what we like about Watson, right? Anyway, I'm sure we'll see her develop more as a character and as a legend moving forward, and I really look forward to that. I hope you enjoyed this video as a bit of a tribute to Watson, I guess, and you know we love lore in this channel as well, so I hope you enjoyed a bit of lore for Apex. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.